Major closures on the way this weekend to a very busy section of 465. We all use five miles of that highway. We'll go down to just one lane. Yeah, this is a very big deal. CBS 4's Eric Graves tells us what crews are doing and when they'll be done. You might want to avoid the Allisonville Road in 465 area starting on Friday at 9 p.m. The eastbound on ramps to 465 from Allisonville Road will be closed down. Not to mention 465 will go down to one lane for a five mile stretch. NDOT says expect long delays and try and find a different route. I'm trying not to cuss. Drivers we talked to weren't looking forward to a rush of work happening this weekend along I-465. Yeah, I'm not coming out this weekend because I don't want to deal with the traffic at all. Starting Friday after 9 p.m., 465 eastbound and southbound will go down to one lane from Allisonville Road and all the way to 56th Street. And that's not all. The eastbound on-ramps from Allisonville to 465 will be closed. And finally, the on-ramp from I-69 southbound to 465 southbound will also go down to one lane. That's going to be a mess. NDOT crews will spend the whole weekend working to restripe and shift southbound traffic on 465. NDOT wants to remind people to plan ahead and remember to drive slowly when crews are out working. On the weekend, especially traffic out here on the weekend is already pretty hectic. Please remain cautious. Please remain alert. It is going to go down to a speed limit of 45 miles per hour in this area. Kylie Kramer with NDOT says crews plan to be done with this work by Sunday evening. We want to make sure that this isn't blocking any traffic to make the morning commute to and from work on the Monday and the weekday difficult. Once the work is done, NDOT can begin to rebuild and add lanes to 465. People just need to be patient if they decide to drive in that area this weekend. Well, I'll just be sticking to the street if I go anywhere. I'll probably just stay in the house. Weather permitting, NDOT says all of the lane closures and ramp closures associated with this project will reopen Sunday evening. Now, they did say there isn't a lot the weather can do to affect this process. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.